I've owned plenty of Apple Watches over the years, but never have I owned a watch as expensive as what's in this bag. This is the Apple Watch MS edition, and I can't wait to unbox it. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and sometimes luxurious. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. And most importantly, I help you find the right gadget to match your needs. In this video, I'll unbox the Apple Watch Hermes edition and the Gourmet Metal Double Tour band. You ready? This is what the box looks like. It's a similar shape to the Apple Watch box, but in the signature Hermes orange box. Now, because I wanted to give you the full experience, I decided to pick this up at an Hermes boutique instead of the Apple store, and that is why it is wrapped in this brown Hermes ribbon. All right, let's pull it off. Nice. And there you go. Let's take the ribbon out of the way. Save it for a rainy day. Okay, how do we open this? No seal. Where's the seal? Ah! <laughs> Never unboxed this before. You slide the two boxes out like so. Very pretty, there's still orange boxes. Inside you have two boxes. This, I believe, is for the band, which in our case, we ordered the Gourmet Metal Double Tour. And this is the Hermes Apple Watch, which we will unbox first. So we can put this one away for a while. Ah, these are the boxes that have seals. Unlike the green arrows you often find in Apple products, these ones have an orange sticker with a black arrow. And just for fun, this is a box that came with a bracelet I once bought. Notice it has the same texture, it's the same exact color, that black border around the box. And even when you turn it around, this little texture here is also found on the bottom of Hermes boxes. Let's break the seal. Here it goes. Lift it up. Wow. It says, designed by Apple in California and Hermes in Paris. Ooh, this is extra. Hmm, it's bigger than usual. That's what she said. I wonder what's inside. Pull. A welcome note. Uncompromising craftsmanship, pioneering innovation, groundbreaking functionality. Okay some instructions, warranty card. Oh look, there's an Apple warranty and there's also an Hermes watch band warranty. And inside this, an Apple sport band in what looks to be Hermes orange. But let's do a comparison, shall we? Hmm, close enough. Next up, we have a wireless charging puck. This is what you need to charge your Apple Watch. It has a USB-C plug on one end, and this is the magnetic charging cradle with what looks to be a silvery aluminum band around it. And last but not least, the Apple Watch. It is a 41 millimeter watch. Now this is basically a stainless steel Apple Watch. It's exactly the same as a stainless steel series eight, but there are two differences. One is on the outside and one is on the inside. We'll start with the outside. If you flip it around, notice it says Apple Watch Series 8 Hermes. So you do have that branding on the outside of the watch. Not that anyone would flip it over. Take a look at my Series 5 stainless steel model. Very similar. And on the inside, I'll show you later, are exclusive Hermes watch faces. What do we do next? I guess first we put this band on, the watch, and just for fun, I actually wore uh, my Series 8 Apple Watch with one of my old orange bands so that we can do a little bit of an orange versus orange band comparison. Let's take a look at these babies. Does it say Hermes? It does. Take a look at that. Nice. Now, while Apple has sold other orange sport bands in the past, the only way that you can get 
This band is if you buy the Hermes edition. So this is it with the Hermes orange band. And this is my Apple Watch with another orange band from another season. This definitely is closer to Hermes orange. All right, what a mess we've made. I think I should tidy up a bit and then we can set up the watch for the first time. I've never done it before, so I'm curious if there are any nods to Hermes when we do. I brought out my special edition Nomad case for this occasion. Let's start. Turn it on. Apple logo, of course. There you go. Let's use the iPhone to set it up. Continue. Set up for myself. Hold the Apple Watch up to the camera. Your Apple Watch is paired. Ooh, take a look. Notice there are orange accents around the Apple logo. Usually that's white. Let's continue. Let me take a moment. First, it's asking us to set up a passcode, which I will do off camera. 10 seconds later. Because this is basically a Series 8 Apple Watch, you get all the new features apart from emergency SOS and fall detection. There's now crash detection and the new backtrack feature via the GPS app. Let's hit continue. Just like the stainless steel Apple Watch Series 8, the Apple Watch Hermes also has cellular built in. That's why there is a red band around the crown. So if you already have a plan with your carrier, you can do that now as well. So just tap continue to set it up. I currently have a plan with Verizon, so I'm just waiting for Verizon to activate my line. Having cellular is perfect, so even if you don't have your phone with you, if someone calls your number, your watch will ring instead. And it has happened to me very recently, actually. All set. Let's hit continue again. Now let's set up Apple Pay. For now, let's just activate my Apple card. Card added. Good job. Express mode enabled. Next. And that's it. The Apple Watch is now syncing and in a bit, our watch will be ready to use. All right, our Apple Watch is syncing and in a few minutes, we should be able to put on the watch and use it to take a look at some of those new watch faces. But while we wait, we have a Apple Watch band to unbox. So this is the other box that came in our package. You can just lift this up, there's no seal. And inside in this large felt container, I believe is our new strap. So there's paperwork up here. Ooh. Wouldn't it be amazing if there were orange Apple stickers? We'll find out. Okay, let's see what's in here. Welcome card, instruction manual, how to put on your special band. It comes in multiple languages, some warranty information. There's no Apple sticker, guys. Actually, come to think about it, this year, I don't think there were Apple stickers in the Apple Watch Ultra and the Apple Watch Series 8 as well. Ooh, this is so luxe, so nice and smooth. Let's take a look at our band. Still wrapped in plastic, protective plastic. Here it is. What do you think? This is the top and this is the bottom. It's longer because it's meant to wrap around twice. I don't speak French and I'm not a jewelry expert, but I looked it up and in France, Cormet is a type of jewelry chain and that is what Apple hopes to recreate with this guy. Last year, I actually also sold the Cormet Double Tour, which is in, I think, black and brown leather. This year, the Cormet Metal has a stainless steel chain. And Apple says from the description, handmade by artisans in France, the Cormet Metal Double Tour band features supple swift leather and polished stainless steel links that wrap twice around the wrist for a bold look. The design references the curb chain used on classic Hermes brittles, which I'm no horse expert, but I believe are similar to, you know, a muzzle or that little piece of leather that they would attach to the face or the head of a horse. Nay, 
way, Jose. Oop, just in time. Our Apple Watch is ready. Hit OK. Let's, Let's put it on put it for on. the first time. Just goes like this. Tuck it in. And because I have multiple Apple Watches this year, my iPhone has detected that I have the Hermes one on, so it's auto-switched for me. Now, let's take a look at the face gallery. Look at all of these new watch faces. There's another special edition Apple Watch, the Apple and Nike collab, and there are actually special, previously exclusive watch faces if you buy that particular watch. But this year, Apple started making those watch faces available to everyone. However, if you want Hermes Apple Watch faces, you need to get this watch. There's no way to get them otherwise. And because of that, Let's take a look at all of them, shall we? Let's start with the one that's new this year. It's available in four colors, and because my French isn't very good, I shall just describe them in English. So you have one with a pale blue horse and a dark blue background, another with a gray horse and an orange background, another with a vibrant blue horse with a yellow background, and last but not the least, an orange horse with a black background. This is the Hermes Circuit H, which is reminiscent of a horse racing track. I don't know if that is the intent, but I'm going to assume so. It comes in two styles. The first one just has the numeral, while the second one has it slanted. There are three colors. You have Argent, Navy, and Orange, but I believe you can tap to add more from the Fall 2021 catalog. Next is the Hermes Circulaire. This one is more of your traditional, more classic watch face, and if you like complications, there's room for one on each corner of the watch. And last but not least, the Hermes watch face. This one is more simple and very customizable. There's a range of colors to choose from. Four different type faces, and then you have three dial options. The first doesn't have any numbers at all. The second has three, six, nine, and 12. And the third, you have all 12 numbers. And last but not least, you have an option for one complication. And by default, it is set to today's date. So let's add that to the watch. There you go, very simple. Now, before we move on, what I want to know is, are these watch faces, now that I have an Hermes Apple Watch, are these mine? What if I took off this watch, put on my Series 8, do I own those? Can I put them on my Series 8 and my Apple Watch Ultra? Okay, let's go into the app now. So it's auto switching. Okay, I've unlocked it. It now knows I'm wearing the Series 8. Let's go into face gallery. <laughs> no, those watch faces are not available for my other Apple Watches, unfortunately. Really exclusive then. By the way, all Hermes watch faces have Hermes Patty on them. All right, let's take it off. There you go. All right, let's try to put it on. It's difficult to do on camera. I rest it like so, bring it around this way. And come and get the other side. Wrap it around. And last but not least, tuck it in like so. And there, that's how it looks. What do you think? I'm kind of scared that the stainless steel rubs against the stainless steel and might cause some scratching, but it's a pretty strap. I think it's supposed to be worn with it a little bit separated, that way it also doesn't bump into each other. And now that I've had it on for a while, I really do like it, it's actually growing on me. It's almost like you have a separate bracelet at the same time. I just don't know if it goes with this outfit, but don't worry, I'm working on a fall inspiration video with the Apple Watch and I will make sure to include this band, so make sure you're subscribed if you wanna check it out. Whether you shop on apple.com or hermes.com, you have a choice of band options as the default band to come with your watch apart from the orange strap. I chose the Gourmet Metal Double Tour. 
but you could also get it with an H diagonal single tour. Tour, by the way, stands for round or turn. So I guess it's several turns, a single or a double turn around your wrist. There's also the attelage double tour, a regular single tour, and from what I hear, a fan favorite the single tour with the deployment buckle. I will say that I sort of regret not getting the 45 millimeter watch. Well, this is another new band for 2022. This is the Bleu de France Swift Leather H Diagonal Single Tour, and it's only available for the 45 millimeter. Honestly, I know nothing about Apple watch bands. I've been staring at the Apple Store app and perusing all the different Hermes bands. And apparently, if you want a double tour band, you can only get it in the 41 millimeter size. But as I alluded to earlier, if you want some of the other bands like the H diagonal or the deployment clasp, then you will then need to get a 45 millimeter watch. Before we end this video, I wanted to answer the question on everybody's mind. Is the Apple Watch Hermes edition worth it? Well, first we've got to take a look at the band. It's actually these handcrafted leather bands that you are paying for. I actually found this video on YouTube which actually details how the leather is selected and how the bands are meticulously crafted, all of which you can expect from an Hermes product, just like the handbags that they are famous for. That said, you do not need to buy an Hermes Apple Watch to get an Hermes band. You can buy all of these bands, both on the Apple Store and on the Hermes website. In fact, it's actually cheaper if you buy them separately. A 41 millimeter stainless steel Apple Watch Series 8 is $6.99 and my Gourmet Metal Double Tour is $8.49. So that brings you to a total of $1,548. What we unbox today, the stainless steel Apple Watch with the Gourmet Metal band and the extra orange sport band costs $17.59. So if you do the math, it's a $211 difference. You're paying $211 for those exclusive watch faces and of course these very pretty orange Hermes boxes. I think what you're actually paying for is the experience. So if you do plan on buying an Hermes Apple Watch, pick one up from an Hermes boutique instead of an Apple store. That way you get the entire experience. You get to go home with an orange shopping bag. If you haven't before, you get a feel for what it's like to shop at Hermes. And maybe even more importantly, you can start a relationship with a sales associate. Not a romantic relationship, but a shopping relationship, which is very important if you do plan or if you want to work your way up to being offered to buy a purchase. And that was our unboxing of the Apple Watch Series 8 Hermes Edition. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.